I am Parisha, BAC Optometrist, doing fellowship in clinical optometry at Preha Nai Hospital under Indian Academy of Optometry. Here is my patient Amla, age 21. She has been using her glasses for last 8 years. Now she is interested in LASIK. Let us check whether she is fit for the LASIK procedure. Hi ma'am, what are your ocular complaints now? Deterioration for distance. How long it been? 8 years. When you last changed your spectacles? 6 months ago. 6 months ago. There is any history of any uh, surgery or injection or anything? No. Any systemic medications you are taking? Allergic medication. So what? Skin allergy. Skin allergy. For two months. Two months. No any other complaints? Okay, okay. let us start. First we are going to take your vision. Check your right eye. Okay. Can you see anything there? Yes. Okay, now. now it's blurred. It's blurred. Now can you see with this DM. small one? DM. Okay, now. Let's see you. Now. OLAM. Okay, now. DHLEM. Okay, now. CTPAM. Okay, now. DMH. OVUC. Okay. Now it's blurred, okay? Now can you see that? Yes, BM. Okay, now. Now it's double. It's double. Is it clear now? Is it clear now? Yes. Let's see you. Now. OLAF. Okay, now. DHLEM. Now. CTPALO. Okay, now. DNH. OBUC. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Now you can see two colors. Yes. Which color is more brighter? Both are equal. Both are equal. Okay. Now let's check your other eye. Can you see that? It's E. Okay, now. Oh, it's blurred. It's blurred. Now. Now DM. Okay, now. Let's see you. Okay, now. Now it's double. It's double. Is it clear that? It's O L A F. Now. D H L E N. Now. C T P A L O now B M H O B U C now P C T okay now this one this one or this one is more clear for you this one this one is more clear this one and this one which one is more clear this one or this one is more clear this one this one is clear okay. Now can you see two colors there? Yes. Which one is brighter? Both are equal. Okay. Now is it clear there? Yes. Can you read? C T P A L O B M H O B U C. Okay. Is it clear there? Yes. Now can you read this one? Yes. Various conditions may cause a stab track to form. Is it clear there? Yes. Okay. Now please put your glasses. Now can you see that? Yes, B N H O B U C. Now can you see that? Yes, it's clear. B N H O B U C. Now she is accepting minus 3.50 diopter sphere for both eyes as in her PG. Then let's check other procedures, topography, keratometry, CCT and RI evaluation. Let us check. Now we are measuring the keratometry reading the 2 to 3 mm of anterior corneal cur curvature measurement and we are measuring the two meridians the horizontal and vertical first we have to adjust the eyepiece and ask the patient to place the chin and forehead properly and occlude the eye that not being examined then focus the myers and measure the horizontal and vertical meridians by superimposing both the plus and minus signs here the patient values are K1 43.50 and K2 44.25 for OD and 43.25 and 44.50 for left eye OS. Now we are assessing the topography measurements, an automated and advanced special photography technique that maps the cornea under the principle of plasma disc. First, 
the patient is seated comfortably in front of the instrument and then enter the data of the patient and then focus the instrument by aligning crosshairs in the center of the pupil then project the alternative black and white concentric rings to the cornea and camera take the pictures of the reflection then measures the angular points on the ring then the computer analyzes the reflected image and displays results as color coded maps values below 47 considered as normal while values between 47 and 48 considered probable keratoconus values above 48 are clinically keratoconus here the k1 and k2 values of the patient seems normal and the report colored coded maps shows no any signs of high astigmatism and keratoconus now we are measuring the central corneal thickness by pachymetry first we have to see the patient then enter the data of the patient put the camera lens in front of the machine ask the patient to place the chin and forehead properly and to fixate the blue dot inside or the target inside focus the machine to get the three dimensional colored map of the central cornea the normal values are 500 to 575 microns here the patient value seems normal now we are evaluating dry eye by schirmer test it is performed without any anesthetics and measured the maximum basic and reflex secretion placing the filter paper inside the lower fornix and instruct the patient not to close the lid after 5 minutes the paper is removed and tested the normal values are greater than 10 mm in 5 minutes patient has 25 mm in 5 minutes Finally the patient's keratometry pachymetry and schirmer seems normal and we can conclude that the patient is fit for the lasik procedure thank you